Hey everybody, it's Married Life TV. So I'm here, Mike, Mike Lewis, my wife Karen. Uh, we're gonna talk to you a little bit about um, some of our travel experiences. Uh, uh, ow! But first, I need to, <laughs> I need to go ahead and put my glasses on so I can see what the heck we're getting ready to talk about. There we go. All right. So our first tip for traveling abroad is. You really need to get familiar with the country, guys. Don't just go to a country and assume that everything that we do here is the same as they do over there because it's definitely not, you know. Some of their laws are a little bit more intensive than ours. For example, you wouldn't want to litter anyway. You shouldn't litter. But if you litter over there, you might get thrown in jail. Not just a fine, but literally thrown in jail. All right. Another thing is do not spit on the ground in another country. Just just don't do it because... Certain country. Well, Thailand, for one. You spit on the ground in Thailand, you're going to get arrested, okay? Jaywalking. Don't, don't jaywalk. No, no, no jaywalking. Especially in places like, like China. You can get dead. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't do it. Thailand either, for that matter. Okay? Another thing is, you want to check the weather. <sighs> just thinking about when we had our, um, our 20th anniversary cruise in the Mediterranean, just thinking about how freezing it was on the ship, on the deck. And, you know, it was summertime when we went, but... Yeah, it was early June. It was early June, and we still need, like... Maybe need a jacket or a sweater at night. Yeah. And the temperature dropped probably about 25 degrees from probably around about 5 o'clock to Real talk. nighttime. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, I mean, we went to Seattle. Yeah, Seattle was the same thing. Same thing. You know, summertime here... We went to Seattle. It was freezing. We had to buy some hoodies, like from the airport. It was so freaking cold. And San Diego is the same thing. You know, we we thought because we went there in June that it was hot. No, that that nighttime wasn't serious. Okay. Also, um, check the government's travel advisory. Now, we we don't we don't take it as seriously as we should, and I I think it's because we we're, we're black. I think it's because we think you're gangster. It's because we think we're gangster that we don't check the. Um, but we really should. But we really should. And we so, have we have checked it for a couple of places. Uh, when we went to Johannesburg, yeah. in South Africa, we checked it, and when we were considering going to Israel, yeah, we checked it. We did. We did. Um, also, find out if you need a visa. If you need, um, like you all, you guys already know that our son lives in China. And we had to get visas to go to China. It just wasn't enough to have our passport. I know it's like that in Vietnam. You have to have a visa. Brazil. It's like that in Brazil. So, you know, it's not every country, but there are certain countries that require that you have a visa. Mm -hmm. um, also, um, it's good to get a good conversion app. Definitely, definitely. Okay, he usually has one on his phone. I do, I do. And, a, lot of, um, a lot of countries in Asia, mm -hmm. they, they do that bartering system where, you know, you kind of bargain for what kind of price you want. Yeah. And if you got that conversion app, you can find out if you're actually getting a good deal. You know, whether it's the yen or the Peso. Thai baht, pesos, or yeah. whatever. You know, yeah. you can convert on your phone and see if you're actually getting a deal. Save you a lot of money. Right. Um, also, it's always good to know a few words. Like, if you know... Um, a few words in their native language, like thank you and hello, um, um, goodbye, where's, where's the bathroom? Um, we don't eat meat. So the uh, word for chicken in Thailand is guy. Guy. Yeah. So it's good to know those little things. Guy too, okay. Good guy. Good guy. I'm telling you, Thailand, y'all, it's a place to visit. If you can get there. Um, also, drink bottled water. Drink, just, just drink bottled water. Do not drink the tap water. And not that some of those places don't have water filtration systems, but you don't want to be on your vacation sitting on a toilet. With the trifecta. With the trifecta. You know what that is, right? Not good. Number one, number two, and you're throwing up at the same time. You don't want that. Okay? I, I've been there. You don't want to go there. Okay. Bottle water. Spoil your whole trip. That's it. Don't risk it. That's it. Bottle water. Also, consider breaking stereotypes, y'all. You know, I'm just saying for those, you know, African American folks watching specifically, smile. Be friendly. You know, break that stereotype because. You know, they automatic. You know, a lot of people automatically assume because you're black. You know, you got this little 
you know, all they have, all people abroad, the version that they have of us is just simply what they see on TV. That's it. And in the movies. In the movies. Mm -hmm. And if all they're watching is gangster films, you know, boys in the hood and whatever else, that's all they see. So we have to break the stereotype. You have to get on there and just be friendly, smile, say hello. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with saying hello. You know, when we were on that ship, at first... We were probably two or five blacks on that ship. And really? um, when we first got on, I mean, everybody was looking at us like we were from out of space. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally. But by the time we... um. By the time the end of the ship, you know, we started speaking. People got to meet us at sitting and eating dinner with them, and they got to meet us. By the time we got off that ship, people were like, "Mike and Karen, hey, how y'all doing?" Hey, yeah, literally. So, I mean, we we even have some lasting relationships. Um, Lisa and Larry. Uh, What's up, Lisa? Big up to Lisa and Larry. Um, they live in Marbella. 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 So yeah. I mean, you know, we we made some bonding relationships. Um, Karen. Um, in Scott and Andy in Scotland. Right. It's either Scotland or England, one of those Scotland. places. But, um, I mean, we've made some really good bonds. So, show yourself friendly. It, it doesn't, it won't kill you to smile. Okay? So, that's pretty much all we have for our travel abroad tips. If you have any other um, comments or some suggestions that we might have left out, please comment below, y'all. Comment below. Not just on Facebook. On YouTube. Leave <laughs> me a comment, all right? Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and please share with your friends. And this is Karen and Big Mode for Life Mary TV. Life TV. Have a good night, guys, and thanks for watching. Peace out.